Welcome to this video on positioning. Here I have this semicircle of cones which show exactly where you should be on this line. If the ball is around there, you should be about where this cone is. And that's moving along with the ball in this type of semicircle. If you're positioned incorrectly, then a striker will easily be able to see where there's more space in the goal and he will shoot exactly in that place. So always be positioned correctly because, for example, if there's a player right there who's about to shoot and I'm positioned here, well then there's an open angle here and goals like this happen. When the ball is on the number one on the right side of this pitch, then you should be a little bit further than the box. When it's in two, you should be around the penalty area, and when it's three, you should be around your semicircle in the goal. So imagine if I were to stay right here, if you, the camera, are the ball. Well, look how much space there is around me. The red area shows where you should be able to shoot score but if I move into position into the semicircle where you're supposed to be positioned well look at the angles they become way way smaller and if I get even closer well there's almost nowhere that you can shoot let's move on to some one-on-one -on -one examples A good indicator on if you are positioned correctly is by looking at the ball. If the ball is mostly coming to you instead of you having to go to the ball, then you're most likely positioned correctly. Positioning is one of the main parts of football. Once you get this right, well, then there's a big chance that you're going to save way more shots than before. Okay, now I'm going to show you a drill to practice positioning. The goalkeeper stands at the blue cone over there. This goalkeeper is then not going to be facing the pitch so that he can't see the pitch. The household member is going to stand at one of three cones. One there, one there, or one there. The household member then says go, and me as a goalkeeper has to turn around and get into position, and I have three seconds to do that before the player shoots. So, go. This drill doesn't only practice positioning, but also agility, which is really important for a goalkeeper. The next clip really shows why it's important to shoot low as a player, because as a goalkeeper it's almost impossible to get down to the ball in a short amount of time like this. Alright, on to the next exercise. This drill is to practice positioning. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start here on the goal line, move forward, have a player play it into our hands, catch it, play it back, and then the player will shoot, right? Then we go jump, 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 and then the player will shoot here. Now, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can move these cones that you jump over a little bit further and this means that you have to run from that cone down here and back into position before getting the ball shot at you before it was just you jump you jump you jump and then you're already in the right position so this is just to make it harder
Okay, now I'll switch the angle, so now you can see how far I'm out of my goal uh, in relation to the goal line. Make sure to keep the intensity in this workout so that it's good for cardio but also the positioning at the same time. And here's the last angle switch to show you exactly where I am in the goal from behind. Imagine there's a counter-attack and you're too far out of your goal. Well, how are you going to get back? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you today. So what you want to do is instead of walking backwards back to your goal, instead what you should do is stand sideways for one leg and then the other, one leg and then the other. So it's like... And that way you have less chance of tripping. Uh, hopefully I made that clear. Here's an example of a counter-attack where I have to do this. Ah. Alright, here's some positioning for a goalkeeper in a free kick situation. So, here we have a goalkeeper in the yellow shirt and he is standing correctly in the goal and so we have this wall of blue players and they are lined up with the post on the left. So half of this goal is protected by the goalkeeper but the other half is half protected by the blue players. So here we change the angle and here we can see the same thing. So the post is lined up with the furthest player on the right in the blue wall and so it's going to be hard for the player to score because he has to shoot over the wall or in your direction, which is where you are standing. So you're probably going to save a free kick anyway. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you on the pitch.